Hey there, hope you're doing well. Let's take a look at the data set that we have in this session. We have a table called dbo.salesdata where we have fields called brand, region, city, sales date and sales. Let's take a look at the data that is available inside this table. We have brand names, region, city, sales date and sales. Let's take a look at the output that is expected. We need to show month names, their total sale amount and what was the previous month sale amount, what was the difference and growth in percentage okay so if you take a look at the february month in case of february month sales amount was 25165 and total sale for the previous month of february month was january which was 17696 and the difference between jan and february month sales is 7469 and there is a growth of 42% okay so this is the result expected so Let's start building the solution. Okay, before we start building solution, let me tell you this is video number 14, which is part of SQL problems and solution playlist for data related profiles. So I would highly recommend to go back and check out other problems as well that we solved as a part of this playlist. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out for your practice. Okay, now let's start building the solution. I will start with select statement from clause dbo.sales underscore data. I will give uh, this table an alias as s. First of all, we need to derive the month name for each transaction. So I will use date name function to get the name of the month. So interval is going to be month and our field is going to be s dot. Do we have, okay, let me directly copy field name. Okay, I will give this column an alias as month underscore name. This is going to be our column alias. Okay. I will also derive column number. Okay. So I will use date part function here. I want month interval as month and from s dot sale date is the field of sales underscore date uh, data table. So this is not date. It is data. Okay. And this will have column alias as month underscore number. Okay. Now this will be our month number. Okay, now we got the date name and sorry, month name and month number. Now let's perform the aggregation on S dot sales amount field. Okay, this is the amount field that we have and I will call it as total sale. Okay, now we are aggregating sales field and we are also in, we are also included fields which are non, not aggregated in the select statement. So we need to include that in, in group by clause, group by I need to include this logic here group by month name and I will also copy the same for month number we need to group the data by month name and month number let's take a look at the result f5 awesome we got month name month number and their total sales amount okay now we need to get total sales amount for the previous month and then we need to subtract current month date uh, sales amount with previous month sales amount and get the growth percentage okay so i will wrap this query inside a ct so i will start with semicolon with keyword for ct c underscore month underscore sales as open bracket let's align it properly close bracket to close the ct okay now here i will start with select query and this time i will query our ct result of ct okay and here we can say Let's give it alias C and I will include C dot month name. We also need C dot month number. We need C dot total sales. Let's not include month number here because we need to show report by month name. So that is not required. Okay. I need month name and total sale for every month. Along with this, I also want to know what was the total sale amount for the previous month so for that we will use one of the window function called lag and here we will provide i want total c dot total sales value of this field right and what is the value to go one month back or two month back so right so we need to provide that here one we need previous one row value right and we need total sale c dot total sale okay and we will say over and order by c dot month number month underscore number as previous sales amount now let's try to execute this query awesome now we got the sales amount okay for the previous month okay 
now why we got the same amount for the january month because there is no previous month and in the query itself what we said if there is no previous row right here we said that this is the third argument if you could see it okay it says you need to provide first expression for the lag function you need to provide expression then offset and if there is no row available for the given offset then what should be the default value so that is why we said whatever is the current month sale amount that should be given for that particular row where we do not have previous row that is why we can say same sales amount for the month of january because there is no previous month okay that is why we get same amount and if you take a look at the january we got the sales amount for this column of january month so we got current month total sale and previous month total sale now we need to get the difference okay i will again convert it into ct so i will call it c underscore previous month as open bracket and close bracket let's align it properly okay now our final query will look like this select star select from our previous ct okay i will call it c underscore tree i will give it an alias little short c and p this is the alias for the result of previous ct okay here i will say c dot cp dot star include all the fields and i will also say i need to calculate growth in percentage for that first of all i need to perform the subtraction between total sale of current month and total sale of previous month so i will say cp dot total sale minus cp dot previous sale amount okay so this is the subtraction of current month sale and previous month sale okay now whatever is the difference we need to divide it by cp dot previous sales amount okay and we need to multiply it by 100 to convert it into percent okay now when we get the result the result is going to be decimal value right so what i will do here is i will intentionally cast the result in decimal number okay so that i can see the result in decimal format if you if you take a look at the result of this I will say as month over month growth okay now let's execute the query okay you could see that we got the result that is expected right in the case of february month we got total sale amount as 25165 and january month sale was 16 17696 where we have growth of 42 percent okay i want to show the growth percent right in decimals but only up to Two decimal places okay for that you can say cast and here it will close and i will say cast as decimal okay and seven comma two awesome now let's execute the query again and we should be able to see the growth percentage right with two decimal places okay if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos 